Hey everyone, this is Brett Endes, the dog savant, dogtrainingla.com. So what you're about to see is a training session I had today with Frida and Sophia, who are two standard poodles who have not been getting along. They've been fighting in the home, and what I discovered is that a great portion of their everyday life has been based on getting rewarded for an overstimulated, overexpectant, or overanticipatory state of mind around their human owners versus this being discouraged. So what I'm demonstrating in this video is how to attain deep levels of focus in these dogs to create a calmer, more content, peaceful state for them to replace the overexpectant, overstimulated states that they've learned to associate as their means to get through a day. Uh, and you can see how much happier these dogs are while they're going through it. Heel. Good. Reward the eye contact. Good. Reward this pace setting. Good. And if we stop, reward the auto six. Good. Very good. It's down. I'll go with that one. You want to lay down, Sophia? Lay down. Good, so we'll put them in the down and now they have to hold that with purpose and calm. Very good. They gotta learn to not be so twitchy, how to be calmer when they're working together. Good, so they're holding that down until I release them or tell them something else to do. And you see they're so much happier when they're not getting stimulated we're going to prep these guys for some dual drop leash distance training. So we're going to heal, get them in the zone here, we'll put them in a nice spot. We're going to have them play. Sit. Okay, so at this point, they have to hold their place, maintain reasonable focus. And my job is to maintain that attention as I get further where distractions arise and fall. I want to work the angles. I want to make it more of a challenge that as even the garage is opening, there's more things happening, they still have to listen to my command because it's not an excuse. Good. And I'll even time some confirmation that while they're holding it as the garage opens, because that would be a time where they'd want to jump the gun, I recognize their efforts, but I still expect more. These are smart poodles. Good. Very good, sit. Good. I always say you want to cut the angle behind them so they learn to listen with the distance without them looking because if you ever need them to come, that's gonna usually be the case. Very good. Look at that focus. You can do the drop leash distance in a fenced in area because you have some security, but if they get up, they're gonna go right back to the spot. So I show them that the command is bonded until I say something next. Very good. So when I say something next, if they're anticipating praise, I'm going to back off. See how that gets them back in the zone. They've been rewarded too much for not doing anything. So I'm showing them that the only way they're going to get attention, at least for me, is by being calm and certainly not expecting what the next thing that's going to happen is. So if I can get it where we're not anticipating, we're not making that cheese face, that's not cute to me. Although she's been rewarded and treated food treats for that behavior for years, someone who's understanding what dog behavior is knows that that is not a happy moment right there for her. She is certainly not smiling. So this is why I'm helping her disengage because her association is that when people approach her, that's what to do and she gets all beside herself and the command kind of balances her, counters that overreaction that she's done for years and keeps her calm. So these are girls that at times have had some fights and teaching them how to accept each other in a calm, relaxed, down command state not only helps them filter the overstimulation they were feeling from each other, but also feels that I'm in control of the situation so they could work as a team.
see them tail. You see a little anticipation, so I'm not going to come in because I don't want to push them out of the calm focus of the command. She gets up. See how she rotates? Perfect reposition. These are smart dogs. Very smart dogs. They're, they're... These are happy dogs. They're working, they're focused, they're calm. This is how they should look all day long. They should not have the extraneous movement or thoughts associated with too much responsibility or anticipation of future events that is the cause of all problem behaviors and unhappy pooches. Calm, maintaining command state. Look at that face. Calm. Zen. Retention. Nice and focused. At some point we'll even take the leashes off completely. Now what I like to do is get to the point where they can't see me and they still have to rely on the command without that visual contact. So I'll hide from them. And you build the time because dogs will start trying to track you pretty quickly if you haven't practiced. So you just turn your back to them so they don't see you. And just keep doing it. I'll do one more pass where I'll go further away without them seeing me. Because they're gonna, you know, not only are they smart, they're just not used to listening without the association of eye contact and the visual cue. Okay, coming down as a cushion. Very good. Good. See, they're looking to me. Good. She can look because she needs to see what to do, not assume what's next. Rely on the command and that gives them security. So that was just a few clips of today's walk and train session with Frida and Sophia, the standard poodles. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and love your dog. Have a good day.